Hi, let's talk about burden voltage in multimeters and it's something you might not be aware of. Now I've done videos on this in the past but I haven't done a short concise video to show you what burden voltage is and uh, the you can really come a gutter using your multimeter, any multimeter. Every single multimeter on the market is going to have a problem with ver burden voltage with measuring current. So let's demonstrate this. I've got my power supply here uh, outputting one volt. I've got a 100 ohm resistor directly across it. Ohm law of course current equals voltage on resistance so 1 volts divided by 100 ohms gives you a current of 10 milliamps and that's exactly what we're reading here 10 milliamps no problems whatsoever but watch what happens if I break my circuit and insert my current meter in series because that's what you have to do with a multimeter measuring current you have to put it in series either on the top here or the bottom here and it makes no difference so let's disconnect our circuit and plug it in and see what happens uh, 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 uh. 9.8 milliamps. What's going on? Is there something wrong with this meter? No, in fact, this is an excellent and quite accurate uh, meter. And even the power supply over here is now reading exactly the same. It's dropped from 10 milliamps to 9.8 milliamps. What's going on? Well, this is what we call burden voltage in a multimeter. But basically, uh, what's happening here is every multimeter is going to have a some resistance between the current jacks. This is made up of the, not only the value of the internal uh, fuse, which has a resistance, but also the current shunt resistor, which is dropping the voltage, which is used uh, by the multimeter to actually measure the current. So what you're doing now is you've broken your circuit and you've put your multimeter in series. That multimeter has an extra resistance in it and it can be quite significant. Now in this particular case we don't know what the value is in here although we could calculate it or we could measure it but for the purposes of this video we don't care but the fact is we've put an extra resistance in series with our circuit. We've completely changed and disturbed our circuit under test and anytime you use an instrument to measure something you've got to be aware of the impact that that measurement device in this particular case a multimeter on current range is having to your circuit under test. So Ohm's law, once again, our current flowing through our circuit is one volt. The v one volt hasn't uh, changed over here, but the total resistance has. It's not just 100 ohms anymore. It's 100 ohms plus that what we call a shunt resistance inside here is uh, which we call RS here. It's RS, the shunt resistance plus R1, which is 100 ohms. So it's something over 100 ohms, which means uh, we're going to get a value less than 10 milliamps and that's what we're getting here. So every multimeter is going to have this and if you're not aware of the impact uh, the shunt resistance in a meter can have on your circuit under test then you're going to come a gutter. The reason it's called burden voltage kind of has to do with uh, the fact that uh, let's for example say you had a 5 volt uh, power supply over here powering your circuit you put your current meter uh, in series and you're measuring the current. Well that multimeter could easily drop say 0.3 volts for example it can be quite high it can be up to like a volt on some multimeters it can get quite high and that means that your circuit is no longer now getting that 5 volts it's getting less than say the 4.75 volts which is your typical lowest threshold voltage of say a TTL circuit for example and your circuit could stop working so your multimeter is a burden on your circuit so that's why it's called burden voltage but check this out. What if I change from milliamp range over here to microamps? We should still be able to measure that 9.8 milliamps, but wah, look, we're getting 4,960 microamps, which is 4.96 milliamps, and that's what we're getting over here, 4.96 why is it now changed again? It's because the shunt resistance inside your multimeter across your terminals or the burden voltage is going to change with the current range that you actually use. So microamps is going to have a much higher resistance internally than what your milliamp range does. And likewise, if we switch over to the amps range here, okay, insertion error, we have to switch back to here and Bingo, we're now actually back to our 10 milliamps. Does that mean that our amps jack doesn't have a uh, shut resistance in it? No, it actually does. It's just much, much lower than your milliamp or microamp range. But look, we've traded off our resolution here. We don't get as many digits as we got when we were actually using the milliamps. So go over to milliamps, you can see that we're actually getting three decimal places over here. We're only getting 
two, basically two decimal places after the milliamp uh, range there. So we've lost some resolution, but we're now uh, not impacting our circuit as much because this shut resistor is much, much lower on the amps range, but it's not zero. If you actually go and put 10 amps, try it on your multimeter at home, put 10 amps through your amps jack, and actually you can put a second multimeter, this is why you should have two multimeters, second multimeter across here, and you can actually measure the burden voltage yourself. And this problem with burden voltage in the multimeter, which as I said, can be like up to a volt or something like that, 700 millivolts to a volt at a full scale reading. And it's gonna change depending on uh, your current through there, by the way. It's why I developed the uh, microcurrent. It's basically got, it, it's still the same. It's a shunt resistor, but it's got a times 100 amplifier in there. So in theory, it's the shunt resistance is a hundred times lower, but it's still not zero. And that's why I also built that uh, into my 121G W multimeter here. Um, I think it's the only meter on the market that has a low burden voltage. It's basically got a microcurrent uh, built in, the little amplifier. But even with this meter, the uh, burden voltage is still not zero. It's just lower than a regular multimeter. So there you go, burden voltage. Just be aware of it. it can be a real trap for young players. Catch you next time. Hello.